This week's videos will explore the various teaching methodologies used in adult education. We will describe three approaches, direct, individual, and group, and we'll examine the advantages and disadvantages of each. By the end of these videos, you should be able to be in a position to recognize when each method would be most appropriate and how to maximize each one's use. This particular video will provide an overview of the direct instruction methodologies. During this video, please reflect on the following analysis questions. What are the direct instruction methodologies used in adult education? When might direct instruction best be used? What are the advantages and disadvantages of direct instruction? And what are good practices associated with direct instruction? Direct instruction methodologies have been the most traditional and common approaches used in education for centuries. They are predicated on the belief that the role of the teacher is to deliver information and that if the content is delivered in a consistently well-organized and appropriately paced manner, all students will be capable of learning it. The direct method involves attention to detailed lesson planning, lecture content, and repetitive practice, and places the emphasis on the teacher and the content, as opposed to the student. Direct instruction includes methods such as lecture, didactic questioning, explicit teaching, practice and drill, and demonstrations. It is an efficient mode of instruction, allowing one teacher to deliver content to almost any number of students at once. The initial direct instruction model by Baritzer and Engelman established a three-stage systematic teaching design driven by continuous assessment of learning. The general process included an introduction to the new content to be learned, the main presentation of the lesson, and practice with immediate feedback. At first, practice is teacher-directed, with the entire class responding to quickly paced, strategically sequenced questions from the instructor. Once the teacher is certain that the students are ready to apply the newly learned concepts, the students are shifted to independent practice, closely monitored by the teacher. The introduction of new concepts, presentation and application of the concepts, and guided practice serves as the standard for direct instruction methodologies. The goal of direct instruction is that learners will develop mastery of the target skills, knowledge, and dispositions. Rapid questioning, frequent testing, continuous interaction, and positive reinforcement are all key instructional tools of direct instruction. Direct instruction may be used, for example, in situations where a psychomotor skill is to be developed, in which it is critical that students mimic the teacher's movements or steps exactly. In this case, the teacher would demonstrate the skill and have students copy their movements. Next, students would practice the movements repeatedly with feedback until they had mastered them to the required standard of accuracy. The direct approach has the following advantages. It is efficient and therefore cost effective. It allows the teacher to retain control over the curriculum and the class experience. It ensures that the course content is covered. It is, in a simplistic way, egalitarian as all students receive exactly the same content in the same way and it's relatively easily transformed into alternative formats such as online instruction. Direct instruction is best used in situations in which the content is either factual or well established with little room for variation or discussion. The content is relatively introductory, neither complex nor abstract. The content is intended to be memorized or learned by rote rather than applied in a variety of ways. The content progresses in a stepwise fashion from simple to more complex ideas or skills. It is important that students achieve a set standard or behavior of mastery of the content. The content will be evaluated in standardized and objective ways in which the specific correct answer is required. And there is no need to develop the student's analytical or application skills in relation to the content. Direct instruction may be efficient, but has been shown to be one of the least effective models for delivering content in adult education settings. As might be expected, most content in such settings is neither simple nor absolute. In most instances, adult students are expected to develop the ability to query, discuss, critique, problem solve, and apply what they are learning. The direct approach does not develop these skills, and furthermore, it delivers the impression that there is only one correct answer, and that the teacher is always right. In addition, by relying on rigidly programmed instruction and content, the direct method precludes spontaneity and exploration in the classroom experience. Such diversions may have positive, yet not easily measurable results. Education solely by direct method assumes that only that which can be measured is valuable. Finally, the direct method assumes that all students learn best through passive reception of material. Research into learning styles and neuroscience has been persuasive in determining that this is not always the case. 
There is no doubt that there are certain times when direct instruction is the preferred method. When it is, you can ensure that the potential for student learning is maximized by following these suggestions. First, provide an overview of what will be learned at the beginning of the lesson. Give students clear, concise explanations and illustrations of the subject matter. Provide frequent opportunities for practice of increasingly complex information or skills and provide a summary of what has been learned at the end. Please reflect on the following synthesis questions. Why would direct instruction be the most common approach in education historically? What philosophy of adult learning is most consistent with the direct instruction approach? Would direct instruction be more likely to be used in formal, informal, or non-formal adult education? And what adult education providers would be most likely to use direct instruction?